Brad, I don't have any kitty food. You guys ate it all. Oh, Brad. Brad. <sighs> Maybe I'll run later. Oh, boy. I know. You ate it all. You, you tipped the thing over and you ate it all, Fred. Oh, Fred. Hey guys, so it is Monday morning, uh, the 26th of Octo uh, October, August. It's raining. It's okay. We both needed a, a day off. Uh, so, because it's raining and it's sopping and wet out, I uh, decided to be a good morning to feed some hay. Uh, and I happen to have two bales in the back of the truck. I was having a little bit of baler trouble. This one's about a, a foot foot wide and the other one's probably about two foot wide. <laughs> I know, it's um, kind of funny. If you think this is, oh yeah, you know, you can make small bales out of a big bale. Or yeah, this thing's about 100 pounds. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to feed hay across the road today. I probably won't move the vents back for them. Um, unless, unless the rain quits and it kind of... So it dries up a little bit uh, but yeah I'm gonna try and uh, give you guys more of an all-day look today um, so yeah I fed with the skid loader this morning because it's it is raining and uh, I wanted to bring some hay over here so all right well we'll uh, we'll see where the day goes and I'll try and capture some footage of what's going on would you get off of there stupid goats they like to climb on the hay when they eat it they can't stand beside it I gotta get the strings out yet before I forget so
So look, this other bale here. See, he's about, he's probably about two foot wide. There's no way I can carry him. I gotta roll him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna feed these guys hay as well. Uh, I don't know. It's wet, and you know what? Sometimes dry hay is good for them too. But then I got I got some hay over there. I'll probably pitch over, throw it in the corner for them as well. I took a walk out in the pasture last night. Checked my cows over cows, and then there's two cat two heifer calves out there right now. Uh, they're running out of pasture. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I have in past years uh, green chopped or grass chopped. There's a pasture up front that they go into uh, during the, the winter, fall and winter, um, that's overgrown. But uh, I can't decide if I want to leave it out, leave it grow and then let them out there in about a month or so or grass chop it off but then uh, once they get out there the first of October or so there's gonna there's not gonna be a whole lot there um, so I don't know might might end up feeding some hay I got some baleage across the road I traded with a guy it's it's been rained on a couple times and it's not the greatest so I kinda I traded it with him and uh, my plan was to get it dry but then uh, we just decided to make baleage out of it and uh, there's a few mold spots in each bale. So I kind of told dad to go ahead and feed it to the steers because that won't bother them none. But, uh, yep, so we'll feed hay and then uh, we'll see what comes next. It's a slow day, so we might end up taking a, taking a break, taking a soda break or something just to, just to relax a little while. And then uh, we got to pull that baler up and uh our tmr mixer we need to do that too that'll get done today as well but we'll see we'll see what happens So, uh, right in there is a bearing that's out. So, uh, I think what we'll do here is we're going to take this PTO shaft off, all completely off. Uh, I got here actually, we wrecked the guard. Um, I was actually really impressed on how well this um, spun on here. Uh, once it let loose, it actually spun really well, so I might just leave it like that. That doesn't bother anything. Um, hoses are tied. Hoses and cords are all tied up out of the way, and uh, if I have to do anything in this area, PTO gets shut off automatically. It just it's something we do around here. At least I do that around here. Um, so yeah, there is a grease circ here. I swear I just did it. I I could have missed it. I I don't know. Um So yeah, we're going to we're going to take this PTO off and then uh we got to see what's what's going on in there and hope hopefully it's just a matter of getting a bearing and putting it on and not uh anything else. But All right, guys. Uh, Baylor update video. So
so uh, I got the PTO off. Actually, the the, actual, the PTO from the tractor slides on here, uh, and then this the bearing is uh, here, and then this goes up to the baler. Uh, I finally got all the all these bearing bearing parts and collars and whatnot off. Uh, I'm actually really happy. Doesn't look like there's much much of any damage here. So we'll uh, we'll go get the new part and then uh, sometime maybe this afternoon we'll put it back together. So um I'm not much of a mechanic and actually neither is my dad or grandpa cuz I don't know that's just in my grandpa farmed everything was pretty simple you just figured it out and you went as time went on everything got more complicated and of course when they were farming prices were better and if you had to take some if something was broke you took it in and had somebody fix it a professional fix it um, so something I want to start doing more is trying to fix stuff on my own and uh, especially with these balers I'd like to be able to rip a whole baler apart and manage to put it back together um, but we'll see we'll see how how it goes if it gets if it's too crazy I just call call a guy he's real real good uh, he works at it it's he's about an hour away the dealership I go through but uh, they they are so good with this stuff and whatnot. So so yeah, we'll get the parts at some point and then uh, pop this all back together and uh, hopefully she runs like new. All right, guys. So it's it's after lunch now. Uh, we went and ordered that uh, bearing we need. And well, of course they didn't have it, which not really surprised. But we've gone into this dealer before and came out with a part that we we figured there was no way they were going to have it. Uh, so another thing in this baler that needs to get done is uh, the oil line running from the tank. Um, running from the tank all the way over to it goes all the way over to the other side actually um, and then it it automatically oils the chains um, every so often um, so there's there's a leak in the line somewhere and I have the line in the house I just would need to go through and do it um, but I have to look look at where that all goes because it runs I think it runs one of these it runs all the way through to the other side and then uh, goes back down into uh, something similar to this where it, it one line comes in and it splits off uh, there's only three four, four chains on this thing but there's one on this side and then there's uh, three on the other side, so Hopefully not too bad So I might I'm gonna look that over if I can do it or if I want to do it right now It ain't a, it ain't really a big deal. I just have the a little uh, Jug in the tractor with some oil in and every once in a while you stop and shoot it on the chains and I mean that That's how we've always done it with everything else just that this has got the oiler uh, it is a little bit of a hassle from time to time. You got to stop and do it, but so yeah, we're gonna we'll look that over. We'll probably blow this out, grease grease it up, get it ready to go again, and then uh, we'll see. I'll probably unhook it because we got to hook that tractor back on the mower for tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon or whatever comes. So. 
something interesting guys I was just cleaning this crap off the top and I found a crescent wrench <laughs> I'm not really sure how it got there or, uh, what uh, I don't know because there's another one over there I thought I pulled it out of that tractor but maybe I pulled it out of the other tractor up do some investigating just <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny hey guys it's about 530 um, just dumped a, <coughs> a bale of that uh, well this is some of that DNR property hay cows are they're actually fighting over it so these are my uh, my beef cows uh, just ignore the Holstein steer for now <laughs> so looks like he's getting beat up uh, yeah he he's been in here too long we gotta get him out of here um, he managed to crawl through the fence on the other side of the fence there there's uh, my dad's steers a group of steers he managed to get through the fence and we just haven't had a chance to get him back uh, there's one of the one of the heifer calves born I think that one was born two weeks ago now um, the other ones over there laying she was about three weeks ago three yeah, I think about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago already. Um, there's there's five that's supposed to be bred in here. Um, hopefully, uh, I was just looking. I see the at first first one there on the right hand side has got a bag a bag started so I don't know if she's gonna calve here and then there's one other one that I wondered that was in heat the other the other night um, I don't know we ended up she had a twisted uterus last year we ended up losing the calf and uh, the bull was in for about seven months, um, so if she didn't get bred, I don't, I don't know. There might be something wrong. We might have, uh, you never know when you have to pull a calf like that. And we had to work on her for quite a while just to get that uterus straightened out, straightened out. But and then there's, I think the second one from the right there is another heifer. Um, doesn't show much much of a sign yet but but yeah so I'm gonna piece this video together um, I did manage to find that oil line it's actually <clears throat> it doesn't look that <clears throat> that bad once I get it strung across so uh, and then we got that TMR mixer fixed didn't get much footage of that because dad was out here and uh, dad's out here trying to work I'm not gonna be messing around too much with the camera so so yeah the cows are really liking this hay um, so uh, if you got any questions throw them in the comments uh, and if you're wondering uh, as soon as I'm done I'm headed to town to buy cat food for Fred <laughs> <coughs> Cat, I don't like to feed the cats a lot because I want them to catch mice and birds and all that. But sometimes you gotta you gotta feed them a little bit to keep them around. So, all right, guys. Uh, hope everybody has a great day and enjoyed this video. Bye.